installing the carburetor and throttle. Prepare the assembly and installation of the carburetor, throttle, and kill switch and front brake lever. Gather the following. Carburetor. Throttle cable. Throttle grip and kill switch assembly. Brake lever. Metric Allen wrenches, Phillips screwdriver, 8mm wrench, drill and a 13 inch bit, heavy duty scissors. Unscrew the carburetor cap and empty the contents. Here are the components of the carburetor. They include the slide needle, a spring, side barrel piston, a sea washer, and the carburetor cap, the carburetor body. After removing the contents of the carburetor, unwind the throttle cable and find the tip. Extend cable out and feed it through the carburetor cap. Run the end of the cable through the spring. Insert the slide needle into the barrel. Insert the sea washer into the barrel on top of the slide needle. Make sure that the sea washer is rotated so that its openings line up with the barrel's groove. Squeeze in spring and pull the cable end out as shown to fit into the slide barrel. Position the cable in underneath and outside of the barrel groove with springs still squeezed into the carburetor cap. Set the cable through the barrel groove with the cable tip set at the bottom and inside the barrel, locking it in. Release the spring into the barrel once the cable tip is secured. Press the spring into the barrel and hold to maintain the position of the slide needle and C-clip. With the barrel groove lined up with the interior nub, slide the needle and barrel into the carburetor. They should slide all the way in. Once the barrel assembly is inserted properly, rescrew the carburetor cap hand tighten only. Tighten the two carburetor bowl screws. Tighten the carburetor drain screw. With either an 8mm wrench or a flathead screwdriver, tighten the fuel inlet. Insert the carburetor into the motor's intake manifold. Twist and push all the way in.
Tighten the carburetor clamp with an 8mm wrench and a screwdriver. In order to install the brake lever and the throttle grip kill switch assembly, first remove the right handlebar grip. Heavy duty scissors or snippers work well. Once the original grip is removed, slide the front hand brake lever through the handlebar. Unscrew the screws holding the top of the kill switch. The throttle kill switch assembly needs to be securely mounted to the handlebar. Start with the kill switch cover. Underneath the cover is a nub that needs to be slotted into a hole drilled into the handlebar. This prevents the throttle assembly from unwanted twisting. Extend the cable out. Feed through kill switch assembly and screw metal tube in the hole. Tighten the nut. If the cable ball gets stuck in the bottom of the assembly, grasp and pull it out with pliers. Pull the cable ball through with a pair of pliers. Insert the cable ball into the throttle grip and run cable inside the throttle cable groove. Once the cable ball is properly inserted into the grip, Place the throttle grip onto the bottom portion of the kill switch assembly. Make sure this end of the cable guide is not twisted below the kill switch assembly. Prepare to drill the handlebar hole that will keep the throttle kill switch assembly in place. Add a dot of pipe thread compound on the locking nub inside the kill switch cover to act as a marking agent. Slide throttle grip kill switch assembly down the right handlebar. Once the grip is in place, Rest the top kill switch directly over the kill switch and press down on the handlebar to leave a white mark. Press the cover firmly onto the handlebar to make a hole mark. The mark left behind is where the hole must be drilled to secure the throttle kill switch assembly. With a 1364th inch drill bit, carefully drill a hole through the mark. Only drill through the top of the tube. Use two M5 nuts to secure the cover to the throttle kill switch assembly. With the inner nub lined with the hole, set kill switch cover directly over the handlebar. Fasten together the kill switch cover to assembly by screwing down the screws. Secure screw tops with the M5 nuts. Use thread lock. Twist the throttle grip. 
It should twist with the resistance and spring back smoothly. Next video, part 9. Installing the CDI coil and spark plug.